Hello, this is Comrade Rent, and again, thank you for watching. So, I'm gonna be covering the CDA Final Fantasy NT. Uh, basically, the collector edition that they announced again. Uh, down in the links below, I'll be putting you a good uh, link that I follow. It's a Facebook Snacks Gen. A Facebook uh, page that uh, he usually puts up every collector edition that is up and if it jumps right away you can just you know order it sometimes some really really rare collector edition go up there and you can catch it much faster than me doing a review on my opinion so again in the description down below I'll be putting the link for that uh, so my opinion about this so this game will be released on 30th of January 2018 so we're talking about next year collector edition already and there are, uh, I think with time we're gonna be talking about more and more so this is a PSC4 exclusive uh, unfortunately this one the one you see in the picture now is digital day one digital deluxe edition and the pricing is a little bit different and kind of like annoys me so the digital day one you get in a uh, Nameless Warrior DLC, that's a pre-order bonus, you're getting the, the game itself and just basically the code. So this is a digital edition, again it's for play, PlayStation 4 exclusive console and you can get a digital deluxe edition that comes with a season pass. And the season pass doesn't really hold something that quite interesting even. It holds six additional playable characters, color variation of the costume for six character mentioned above additional weapons I don't know really if it's valuable that much and it's 85 bucks and that's the digital deluxe edition that is basically with no disc nothing you're getting just a CD key ah kind of bummer uh, and let's continue we, we eventually need to go to the collector edition and then give my opinion so it's a base game it's an NA game it's a Looking good games again, I'll be putting a link of the YouTube gameplay or how it looks, you know, in the description down below. And let's continue. So the next one is the pre-order now to receive one of those limited steelbook growler edition. Now the weird one is it's kind of a fuck in your face because they split it onto three different ones. And each one is unique. So if you want to get them all suck a dick you need actually to go and buy maybe 30 of them <laughs> or scramble them on ebay to get the full collection because once you buy it you're getting one random between them that's kind of a bummer and this one is a 60 bucks uh, from where i understand yes it's a steelbook brawler edition is the 60 bucks one so we're getting basically just the game and one steelbook that is like randomly you're getting it uh... So it's uh, from what I'm seeing and reading, customers who pre-order from participating retailers, uh, probably GameStop and uh, Square Enix, the shop itself, will receive one of the free limited edition steelbook designs at random. I don't like that idea, but you know, different art. It's it splits the base. It just it's annoying when you're somebody like me that likes co love collecting, and I see the beauty of the art of those stuff. It's kind of a bummer that you get like one third of a full uh, feeling. Like you don't you don't like maybe you love a little bit more where uh, the the middle one. Maybe you like the middle one, the right one or the left one. And you don't get it it's kind of a bummer i don't like that but it's not overpriced it's an aa game and you're just getting it basically for free so what am i complaining and uh, when it comes to this the collector edition is the one that we should be oh god why is it like that the one which should be talking the ultimate collector edition this baby is 190 dollars from what i remember yes Yes, Ultimate Collector Edition is 100, 189.99. I fucking hate that marketing. It's basically $190. That's without taxing, delivery, and all that stuff. And let's talk about it. So, when it comes, you're getting here a season pass, art book, soundtrack, steel book, collector edition box, and a 8.25 inch. So, it's 21 centimeter Warrior of Light bust. And I'm gonna be saying fuck that, because 
I, I don't see the value when it comes to what you get in this collector edition. Square Enix lately are, they're giving small bunch of shit, like really small statues. They are definitely good details, but they're not quite there when it comes to the collector editions. I fucking hate the pricing too. They up it so much. This collector edition is kind of like we. I don't think it's needed. And if you're already doing a Warrior of Light, you know, statue, make a fucking full one. You know, maybe a bigger one, because there's a plenty of good collector edition that cost the same fucking money and give much more. I'm just amazed how uh, comp how companies like this treat their fan base. Especially when it comes to Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is a huge fan base, and we probably will suck up and buy it because I've seen a lot of shitty collector editions sold from them, and then you see them on B eBay selling for shit crap of no money. And I usually get them for scraps of what they used to be costing. That is attitude is shit, and why I'm kind of pissed. The digital deluxe edition with the season pass is basically ninety dollars. So when I cut. $90 from this collector edition because you know how I look at it even if it's like $5 for the steel book let's say the ultimate collector steel book you cut that you cut the season pass with the game itself it's like 85 bucks 5 bucks it's 90 bucks so just cut it so what you're having here is $100 worth of leftovers let's say like that hand cover 80 page art book isn't fucking costing it's costing around 10 to 15 bucks. Usually 10 to 15 bucks hardcover books on the Amazon if you go and check it for games. Like even Horizon Zero Dawn are around the 20 bucks and they're like 160, even 200 pages, some of them. So 80 pages art book for 50 bucks, even like 15 bucks or even 20 bucks is quite expensive. Soundtrack, listen, fucking useless. Every soundtrack that... The soundtrack is the ones that always lose value because it's so easy to just put it online. It's so fucking easy today, you know, just to, to burn this disc and put it in the website so it doesn't hold any value. And it's like, it, for them as a company, it's like, okay, so it's like maybe a $2 disc. The only thing that's the biggest value here is like 80 bucks for... 21 centimeter warrior of light bust and I have to be somebody that collects a lot of statues I don't think a 21 centimeter PVC is worth 80 bucks I, no matter how you think even when it comes to master star piece ban presto dragon ball z um, they're 34 I think gogo and 28 vegeta costed like 60 bucks the fucking full statue like he's standing and everything you know that fucking bust and even if you come to assassin creed the bust there that the same heights are costing much less the assassin creed bust is around the 50 bucks even less just and the 50 bucks is with separate box and everything that you're getting here you're getting it in the collection and they're like take milking like 30 40 dollars more so when it comes to pricing i'm not gonna be screaming that's overpriced right crazy because they probably overpriced it like on 30 to 40 bucks but just for your notice this is how they do it this is how i've seen this progress when it comes to square enix they put five dollars more and they see if it sells good if it doesn't sell good the lower the next collector edition will be lower. They did it with the Descended. I think it was 200 bucks. Now they lower it to this collector edition. It's, it's 100 bucks, like 20 bucks less. So they're playing with. The, they're checking the market. If you contain yourself and do not buy things like this, they probably will be good. Plus, this collector edition isn't limited, from what I understand. I know it's only at Square Enix online store, so I'll be putting a link down below if you really want it. It's not crazy overpriced, but it's going in that 30 range of overpriced. 30, 40 range. A small one, but still there. Uh, not that critically. I don't think it's just, you know, something that you should be worried about. Oh no, they're... it's 30 bucks, but it's still taxing and 
you know, all those stuff, it does cost money eventually. And you know, as somebody that fan, you have here around four still books, different ones. The one which comes the Ultimate Collector Edition, the one that comes in, and this is like the overview of this. You see, the one that comes with the Ultimate Collector Edition, the three that comes with the Brawler Edition included. <sighs> Again, they're going like Ubisoft. Ubisoft is doing pretty well when it comes to splitting, and they're starting to do it now too. Look, this is kind of how the industry, they learn from somebody that did it successfully, and they just implement it on their territory. Um, unfortunately, they had huge success when it comes to the Black Edition, uh, Near Automata, and uh, Final Fantasy Edition that sold like crazy in eBay scalpers. Like people bought it for one thousand dollars, and you now can probably buy it for three hundred or four hundred dollars. Like maybe a jump over fifty, because I told for thirty-five thousand copies a lot. This one is not even limited, so it's gonna be probably much more. Um, so because it's not limited, I don't think the price is gonna jump. Game values always lose value. Like every game that you ever bought gonna lose value uh, with time. The game itself, not we're not talking about the package and the statue. The game itself will always lose value. You you know on sales on Steam for 60%. It's like me down a war free. I just bought it for 25 bucks compared to 60, and and things like that. So it's not overpriced. It's a little bit pricey, and you know it's your decision. I'm not here to judge any collect edition. I'm just if I'll bash if it's a shit collect edition. This one I don't really like because it's a bust. It's a pretty small one, bust, like 21 centimeters bust, isn't big at all. Um, and plus you see the sword, so they usually take it from the sword. So it's probably feels going to be looking even smaller because the sword gives it a height. So we're probably talking about much smaller. We're talking about a bust of maybe like 10 to 12 centimeters of the hero sword and the base. Really, I don't even give it 50 bucks. I'll give it like 40 bucks. It's, it's it's not worth that much of money. Plus, it's a fucking collector edition. You make plenty of them, so they need to lower the price because you know it's kind of a copy paste of a lot of them. It's a big order, so usually it has comes with you know kind of advantage when you order big big um, stuff like this. You know, in quantities. Anyway. I think this collector edition is a little bit overpriced. I don't think it's crazy overpriced. We're not talking about a 50, 60 or 70 dollars overpricing, but I would sell this collector edition if it even takes it with the season pass for maybe 130, 140 bucks. So I think they overpriced it around the 40, 50 bucks even in my opinion. Um and the season pass here looks like shit, just six mm, characters like no content, like just swords and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. I would definitely not jump on it. It feels like they're even giving you a season pass content lower than what it should be. It's like they're selling you even less now for season pass. It's kind of weird. Anyway, this game will be released, as you see in the picture here, available 1-30-2018. Uh, for PlayStation 4 exclusive, this is from Square Enix shop. You can buy it only though. The ones you buy from, uh, I think the Steelbook, you can buy, buy it for uh, uh, retailers that what work with Square Enix. Or you can buy it at Square Enix. The Ultimate Collector Edition is only at Square Enix from what I understand. If you see other links, again, put it in the description down below. I'll add it to descriptions. Put it in the comments. I'll add it to the descriptions. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great and amazing day. And, uh, you know, like always, I'll see you around.